Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah wa ala ahli wa sahbi ya jama'ina ma ba'd. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inshallah we're going to continue with the setting up of our website. You can see we are having two major issues with our website now. The first one is that it's showing not secure. You can see when you click on this place your connection to this website is not secure. When you see any website like this it's not good. That means the hackers they can um, steal your information. They can steal your credit card information and with that withdraw your money. So you should not use this kind of website. So our website too now is showing the same thing, not secured. So that means we have to find solution to this. And the second problem we are having is that yet this address, this website address here, is not our website that we purchased. We actually purchased tvirageency.com but this is not what we are having here so we have to fix this so the very first one is that we are, we are going to fix this address we are going to go back to bluehost so when we are here at bluehost you go to site you can see this here this is our website here tvira agency but it's not showing there so we click on manage site so when we are here we go to settings they will now come back to this place so we are going to delete this one now put our website note one thing so the http must have s when the http doesn't have s that means the website is not secure so for our own website we must make sure that it is there because we want our website to be secure so we must put the s there https then right to via agency.com you check this and click on save update it might take a while you can see successful so then you can try to you can go to this address and check copy go to new tab paste and check you can see now you can see if you click on it connection is secure it is now secure do you understand so although what we intended is just to change the website now then even it is even secure because sometimes after changing it to tvirageency.com like this it might show not secure and that doesn't mean anything just go back to your blue host go back to security on, on that site you know you come back to site you go to manage site then you go to security this is ssl certificates so this is what is showing either secure or not secure what do, what do i mean if the ssl certificate is installed on your website then it's going to be secure but if it is not installed it's going to show not secure so at this being when we come here we find it turned off we will have put it on but you can see itself is in progress that means they are just installing it and it is already even installed because it is showing what secure here so we have done the two the two issues our website is now secure and the address is now this so how do we now go to our web because if you come back to this place you can see session expired so how do you now log into your website just go back to bluehost click on home and click on what login into what uh, wordpress login into wordpress You can see now it is secure and our website address is there so we have solved the two issues so what is the next thing the very first thing is what you have been taught before go to post all post hello word just delete it trash that is the only post we have so we are trashing it so you go to trash you click delete permanently okay the next thing is that you go to pages you can see just click on this place to highlight everything together because there are two i don't want to do it one by one say so move to trash then you apply to the two together so you can go to trash click on this place to highlight everything together delete permanently okay 
The next thing is that you go to appearance, the teams. You can see how many teams are there? Four. So and we only need one. So let's just delete three to keep one. And even that one, we are going to be changing it to another thing later. So just click on any one you want to delete. Click on it. So when you click on it, you can see delete here. So you delete it. Click on the next one. Delete. So you don't want a lot of things on your website. It's going to be very slow. People will not like your website because it is slow. Because you are putting a lot of things. Some of you, you are just installing a lot of template kit. Template kit. If you have more than one, your website will be very slow. When you send it to customer, your clients, when they try to visit the website and they find it to be very slow, they will just go away. So thereafter, you go to plugins. Okay. So you click on this place to highlight everything together. Then you now click on deactivate. You must deactivate all first. Deactivate. You apply. It's good to deactivate all the all the plugins. Then you now click on this place again to check everything. Then you now click on what? Delete. To keep your website very clean and light. So we have deleted all the plugins, you can see. So the website is very clean now. So the next thing is that you go to settings. Other settings, you can go to permalinks. Then you can see it is already post name. If it is not there, you have to change it to post name. So it's already there. So the next thing is that you can go to general. Under settings, go to general. You can see some of the information about your website. You can see welcome. All this one you can change them later. We are going to show you how to change them. Website address, you can see it there. This is my email address. You can see membership. You can change it to anyone can register. We are going to be telling you the menu later. So these are just these are okay. Click on save changes. So the website is clean now. Everything is clean. So the next thing is to install your theme. The theme we usually recommend is Astra. So click on add new. So you search for Astra. So you should take note there is Astra and there is Astral with L. So the one we want is not this one with L. We want this one, this Astra. Click on install. So after it is installed, you click on activate. So it is now activated. So since this Astra is now activated, then you can delete this other one that we don't use again. Just delete it. So you don't want to keep anything that you don't need on your website. It's not recommended at all. So thereafter, we go to plugins. So click on add new. So we are going to be installing some plugins. From them is Astra Starter Site. So when you, you just this it starter templates, Elementor, WordPress, Beaver Builder templates. Click on install. So click on activate. So after activating it, then you now click on C library. You can see C library. So after clicking on that, so you are going to click on, you scroll down and click on what? Build your website now. So it's asking you, are you using block editor, Elementor, or Beaver Builder? No, I'm using Elementor, the middle one. It's asking me to choose a template from all of these. So I'm going to pick a template that is close, the closest one to what I want to design. You know, you know what you want to design. If I want to design something like blog now, I can choose this. Something e-commerce, I can choose this. Just find the one that is very close to your website and you install. I usually recommend picking this particular one. Why? It's because this one is e-commerce website. So there are some things that when you install this one, you're going to install with your to your website. Even if you want to use this, you can still use this later. So I usually recommend choosing this one. When you click on it, you're going to load. You can see very nice website. So then you click on what? Skip and continue. Continue. 
is asking for all these details just click submit and build my website so it is installing the templates for you you can see so congratulations your website is ready and it took just 1.36 minutes to build so you click on view your website wow so this is my website now very neat so if i want to design a website that's similar to this i can just change some of the things there maybe i want to be selling something like this i can change the image the price the name everything i can change them so but this is not what we want we just want to start from this place okay so let's go back to the dashboard so in order to go back to the dashboard it's very easy just go back go to this address and delete everything you have here just leave that wp admin and click enter if you are on mobile too, you can just type tipviraagency.com forward slash wp dash admin it will take you back to the dashboard all this time i want to i want to take them off i don't like to see all these things here i want my dashboard to be very neat so i will click on this screen option here I will untick all these ones. I will untick them. I don't want them. I don't want to see anything like that. So I will just do like this. You can see. Skip setup. Skip setup. You can see. This place is very neat now. This is what I want. You must make sure that your website is always very neat. Anything that you don't need, don't install. Don't install a lot of things. You might think that it doesn't mean. Uh, it means a lot. Your website is going to be very slow people will not like to visit your website if people want to purchase something on your website they are trying to they are trying to load it and if it doesn't load on time they will just go away from your website you'll be losing money just because your website is heavy you send this to a client he tries to visit your website and he finds that your website is very slow he's going to go away from your website and you'll be losing money just because of that so anything that is not compulsory just take them away from your website okay so after doing this what is the next thing just come back to page just because we have installed that website now look at those look at the number of pages we have you now have about page cart page checkout page contact us page home page account my account page and store page because the templates we installed came with all these pages the same thing we go to post go to all post there's no post there because the website doesn't have the template we installed doesn't have any post but if you go to look at uh, woocommerce now woocommerce then i'll go to maybe uh, products okay this is the product here go to all products just because of the kind of templates we installed we have a lot of products have been added look at the number of products a lot of them a lot of them so you are not selling this product if you want to be selling products you are going to change all this product to your own so we are going to be showing you we are going to be showing that later so after installing the template so inshallah the next video we continue from there we ask Allah to make us understand more than how we have tried to explain assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh